I've made a little swatch here and I just love it. It's just giving me different textures and it's thick and fluffy there and it's thinner there and it's just gonna look beautiful. So I've checked my gauge. I'm using size 11 needles here and I'm using the bamboo needles. They're 16 inches long and these are the type of circular needles that you want to use to make hats. You want to get the 16 inch circular needles and I like using bamboo. Bamboo works really well. It's, it's lightweight um, and when you're using Angora it is a little bit slippery so if you're using the metal needles it's a little bit harder because it's very slippery so that's why I like using the bamboo. So I'm going to cast on the 60 stitches and then I'm going to begin joining them in the round and I'm going to make sure that I'm not twisting it. You do not want to make that mistake and you'll realize you're not going to be able to use it as a hat. So I'm going to join it in the round and I'm, when I join it in the round I'm going to work in the rib pattern. So I'm going to knit two and purl two. I'm going to knit two and purl two for the entire hat, every round, and I'm going to do that until the hat is eight inches long. And then I'm going to start decreasing and finishing the hat. Now I want to make it eight inches long because I'm going to have it uh, fold over. So the hat is going to be able to fold over. So you want to make sure that it's long enough to be able to do that and have a nice rim to it. All right, I'm at 60. And I'm going to start joining them in the round and I want to make sure that I don't twist it. And I'm going to start off with knit two. So I am going to continue this for eight inches. Then it's going to be time for me to start decreasing the hat and binding it off. <laughs> 